Hey YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and we're finally getting to the last uh, of the Sasha Mitchell Kickboxer movies. Kickboxer 4, The Aggressor. Now I rewatched this movie again to get prepared for this review, and while it's watchable, it's better than the third one, it's still not as good as the first two. Like, the, my biggest problem with the movie is that, it, again, like the third one, it doesn't feel like a Kickboxer movie. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, yeah, uh, basically this film takes place right after the third one, but they don't mention the third one when he was in Brazil. He's in prison because in the at the end of the second one, he, uh, Tong Po uh, frames him for, the, for, for a murder or whatever, and he's in prison writing letters to his wife. And then the opening, the opening is dumb. Like, even when I first saw it, I'm like, the opening is just a recap of what happened in the first two films. Like... Uh, John Claude Van Damme's fight against Tong Po, and then uh, David Sloan's fight against Tong Po in the second one, and I'm like, we don't need this. It's just stock footage. It's filler. And the film has a lot of problems. I'm going to say that, even though it's better than three, because it's, it's, uh, it's mostly grounded, but it does have its issues. Like like I said, the film, the opening sucks. Uh, the guy that plays Tong Po in this version is not even close to the guy in the first one. Uh, the first two, because that Tong Po was intimidating. He was dark. He was menacing, tall, and he was he was a threat. In this one, this Tong, this actor that plays Tong Po is is awfully miscast. He doesn't look like Tong Po. He talks too much. His accent sounds unconvincing as an Asian, and he laughs a lot. So I'm like, this is nothing like the Tong Po in the first two films. And I'm fine with a different interpretation of the same character, but it's noticeable and it sticks out like a sore thumb. Also, there's too many characters in this movie. You have Tom Matthews. I like him in the movie. I wish he was in it more. And then you have this blonde girl that fights. And then you have this other girl that is just a piece of meat. And then you have this other uh, brunette guy that's having sex with her. And then you have the, this the, this orgy scene, which is completely out of place. It's not needed in the movie. There's two sex scenes that could be cut out of the movie. They're, they serve no purpose. And... Uh, yeah, the film is not long. It's just that these characters just fill, are there to fill time. And I'm like, you only needed either Tong Po by himself or Tom Matthews as the villain. You don't need both of them because it just feels like too many cooks in the kitchen. And also the film, like I said, it's not a kickboxing movie. They, they're, they're doing martial arts. There's no boxing involved. It's just kicking and punching and, and throwing, you know, throwing and, and uh, a lot of, you know, it's mostly a martial arts film. It's like a Mortal Kombat knockoff. And uh, the film is violent. It is R-rated, so that's one of the high points of the film. The action scenes are done well, for the most part. Even though at the end, the fight scene is basically a cartoon compared to the first two films. Uh, it, they do curse in it more than the third one. There are some tits in the movie, so at least if you like women like I do, that's a, kind of a nice uh, consentive. Uh, it's a nice concession, I guess. Consolation prize. I'm not concession. Consolation prize for you know people that sit through the whole movie. But yeah, like I said, it's it, it, you know it is better than the third one. But uh, I don't think it's a good movie. It's just decent, a decent one watch or two watch. And uh, Sasha Mitchell, like I said, he's he's fine in the movie. And David Sloan, he's different from Van Dam. And uh, David Chan doesn't come back. That that's a that's a huge uh, loss. But like I said, after seeing this movie, I'm gl I'm glad he wasn't in this movie. They probably would have killed him off. Like one of the Rocky sequels. So I'm like, I'm fine with him not being here. It, he didn't need to be there. Uh, and the film is, uh, you know, there's one thing that, did, that feminists are going to hate about this movie. There's violence towards women. The beginning of the movie, uh, Tong Po uh, takes St David Sloan's wife and throws her on the bed. They don't show too much. And I guess he rapes her. We don't see it, but, you know, it's mean-spirited. And there's another scene where uh, the, the, the brunette girl gets she she gets cut up and tied up and i'm like yeah i don't want to see violence towards women especially women that are appealing to me because uh it's just not for me you know i like to see women being treated like 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 people not like freaking animals it's just not my thing that's what i hate about the harley quinn joker relationship it has to be abusive and i don't like that pain pleasure doesn't come from pain it's just not for me it's not for me at all but other than that, the movie, while it has its issues, and there are plenty of them that I mentioned, it's still worth a watch. If you want to see decent action, the story's not that bad. Um, it's it's better than the third one because it, it's uh, 
more in the vein of the first two, but except for the kickboxing part, it's just it should have just been called the aggressor because that's basically what it is. A lot of aggression in the movie. They that definitely lives up to its name, but it's not a kickboxer movie. It's just in name only. They just called it that because it, it takes place after three, but. It's worth one watch. If you watch it once and you don't care for it, I'm like, I can understand. If you like it, I'm like, it's fine. It's a decent watch at least once. But uh, other than that, that's, a, that's all I can say about Kickboxer 4. Uh, the guy that was that wanted me to review these, I'm glad I got it over with. Now I can donate these films because I'm like, they're full screen. The sound is terrible. So they they were what they were. You know, they're, they're not great movies, but they're worth one watch to kill time. They're better than some of the action movies. And I guarantee you those are better than the recent kickboxer movies that have, like, Van Damme playing another character and other ca actors that I don't care about. But anyway, that's my review of Kickboxer for The Aggressor. Decent, but it has a lot of problems. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And the last review will be Kickboxer 5 with... Mark Dacascos, which I'm going to watch on YouTube. And uh, it's a standalone movie, so at least I have that. So see you guys in the next review.